Hello, everybody. I'm Mark Lavi. I'm from Caston by Veeam. We are an adopter of Kubevert, and I'm the cloud native product manager focused on open source. Uh, Andrew Burden, the community leader for Kubevert, asked me to uh, lead today's meeting because he's out for the rest of the week. So uh, as usual, I'm sharing my screen right now. Uh, let me find the link and uh, put it in chat. And if anybody can join and add their name to the agenda as an attendee, I'd appreciate it. So uh, if anybody's here for the first time, please uh, raise your hand or notate or, or type in the chat, or uh, we'd love for you to unmike and introduce yourself. But uh, our community, you can uh, add your organization to the adopters, follow us on Twitter, uh, join the community page, or certainly join our GitHub project. Um, if anybody is new, please introduce yourselves through chat or unmuting. All right, I'm going to assume nobody is, so we will carry on. Our first uh, topic is the schedule check-in for the release. So let's go take a look at that. And uh, looks like we're looking at 1.2. Today is December 6th. Uh, the Kubernetes release has been pushed back for 129 by a few days because I think there was a Go uh, library security patch. Um, so Andrew wanted to pose to, to everybody here whether or not this also should impact the alpha release uh, targeted for the 12th. And if nobody has an opinion, I will just move on to the next topic. <laughs> All right, let me uh, close this up. You'll we'll move on to the next topic. No opinions offered. All right, and let's take a look at the CFPs. Um, the only one coming up is, I believe, do uh, yeah, the close date for FOSDEM in Brussels is coming up, I think, at the end of this week. So if you're planning to speak about or have an interest in speaking about uh, Kubevert and your adoption of it, or your use case, or uh, a future use case of it, or the goal of the project, or introducing the project, please submit. Uh, looks like that's all that's uh, coming up for right now. Uh, and of course, the Kubevert project will be at KubeCon in March. All right, it looks like that's everything on events. Please stop me. Hey, Mark, sorry, I was uh, double muted there a minute ago. Uh, oh. Back to the release schedule. Um, sure. I'm always you. supportive of, for, for selfish reasons, of pushing our release back. Um, I mean, do, you know, just to reveal a little of our internal process, this, you know, the Kubert feature freeze is way early for us. So mm -hmm. I would love if, if they've, re, you know, delayed by a few days, I'll take any days we can get. Uh, I only can identify you as Scott. Uh, Sorry, Stu Gott all right, uh, from Stu. Red Hat. Oh, yeah. So, Stu, would you be so kind as to comment as such? Um, but I do not know how to make that actionable, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Sure. I okay. No worries. I Yeah, because we, we were the ones to propose the schedule as maintainers. So we can just propose an edit. Okay. But thanks for the heads up. I didn't realize that that was on the table. So that's cool. All right. Well, I'll ask you to take that up, please. <laughs> sure. Thanks. OK. All right. Having done CFPs, let's go take a look at what we have for agenda items. Yep, we already talked about the CFP on the events uh, done. Uh, Ale. Hey. Yeah, that, that's me, Ale. Hi. Uh, I can take it over. Yeah, please. So uh, this was discussed in yesterday's SIG API call, where uh, Kubernetes SIG API follows a very nicely defined process for API reviews. So um, 
the person who is sharing the screen, can you please open the second link, Kubernetes projects, uh, one link below. Oh, sorry. Yeah. This one, uh, view yes. one. All right. Yeah. So uh, that's an example of what um, I was talking about. So uh, any PR that comes for an API review gets backlogged here and then follows a, a flow all the way through completed, uh, going through different uh, phases in there. Uh, we were wondering if we could have labels for it, but then we found that um, if we do indeed have labels and there will be five labels that they, they say API itself owns and that will make labels crowded. So instead this solved the problem in, in a better way. Uh, given this background, um, I was wondering if uh, the projects uh, for Kubeford, uh, uh org can be uh, enabled and, you know, we can have a project board like this for, for a particular cycle. So if you go to the second link, uh, the second tab, yeah, I found, uh, you know, the, the pages where we can enable this, but I don't think I have enough privileges in the org to, you know, create a, a project or not. So just wondering if anyone has explored this before, uh, what's the process to, you know, get a project. I understand. Uh, do we have any of the organization, Qvert organization, uh, maintainers here or administrators here. All right. Do we know who to ask? <laughs> Does anybody know? I would ask Daniel, you know. Uh, okay. Ale, are, are you familiar with Daniel? Yeah. Okay. Would you be able to follow up with him? I, 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 I think that shouldn't be a problem at all. Yeah, okay. I'll follow up on uh, Slack channel. Yep, yep. Email too would be really good. Okay, awesome. I may butcher his name uh, as far as just remembering it off the top of my head, but something like that. All right. Correct. Cool. Uh, the only other thing I believe we have on the open floor, and Ale, uh, anything else uh, we need to address on your topic? No, I think that's all. Um, thanks for the guidance, Rachel. You're welcome. Um, Andrew pointed out that we, or the project merged uh, this design proposal just recently for mass machine type transition, all right? Let's see if we can make this a tiny bit bigger. When RHEL 10 is released, RHEL 9 machines will no longer be compatible. This is a mass update method. Oh, okay. Seems seems reasoning reasonable to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like this all went through discussions and wow, quite a bit. Really quite a bit. <laughs> and was approved recently, two weeks ago. And Stu did as well. But not approved. No, no, that was just the bot saying that I don't have permissions in that repo. Oh, okay. Already. Well, then, is that because there is a... Oh, okay. But it's been done, yeah. Uh... Yeah, it merged five days ago. Perfect. Okay. So that's um, just a heads up. I, I actually actually yeah. had um, some thoughts regarding this proposal. My apologies. I only came to know about it when I read uh, the agenda notes today. So I'm um, no late to sharing thoughts. But um, in Please. terms of the API that is proposed in this uh, proposal, uh, it is adding a status field that is going to be used only for this migration. Uh, 
maybe this is a topic we could take to SIG API call, but I was wondering if we can, you know, not pollute the API with it and use maybe an annotation or a label for this information. It will persist the information and you will have an ability to label select uh, the VMIs that are going through transition. Uh, I believe that's actually specifically discussed in this uh, extraordinarily lengthy uh, history uh, on this okay. um, proposal. Okay, I'll go through that. Thanks, Stu. Thank you. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, I do see label, but I'm not annotation. Let's see, our annotation. All right. Well, I will leave it to you to follow up uh, as you see fit and potentially even on the mailing list uh, after the community meeting, if it if it's, doesn't fall up, fall within today's boundaries of, of, our, of our meeting while we still are going on. We're pretty much down to uh, basic triage now. So let's go take a look at one, two, three, four, five pull requests that require some attention. Deprecate V1 Alpha 1. 18 hours ago. Uh, looks like we have reviewers on this, but no assignee. Hmm. Uh, there is a... Um... There is also a mailing, a uh, thread in the mailing list about this. Okay. So I think in this case, it's more if we agree to deprecate this. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. So it's been sent and we'll see if any comments come start to come in. Okay. So this one's in process, but uh, do we need to get it assigned to anybody? And it's certainly okay to say no. You can but... assign to me if you want, but uh, it's more if any any Qvert user is using the Alpha 1 uh, API. Uh, right, right. If nobody is complaining after a certain time, I think we can deprecate it and then... Uh... Yeah, I'm not signed in right now, but could I ask you to take it? Yeah, I'll do. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, let's take a look at this next one. Vert API request limits can be used with uh, memory and CPU hot plug. Interesting. Hmm. Anybody who can take this one on, as far as the sign, signee. I'll, I'll take a look, Mark. Thank you, appreciate it. Bert Launcher, let's take a look at this one. Second emulator thread assigned strategy for best effort. I'm currently reviewing it. All right. Are you also okay for being the assignee on it? Yes, yeah, sure. No problem. Thank you. Appreciate that. And remove watchdog. We're four out of five. Watchdog files made it obsolete. Now it's safe to drop it. That seems pretty straightforward. Although some tests fail. Okay. Anybody on this one? No. All right. Well, well, we'll let this one go for now, since we have no volunteers. Uh, let me close up some tabs. 
All right. Uh, hack build go.sh. Use race flag when running go test for individual packages. I can take a, I'm taking a look to this. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, let's see what's going on now uh, with the mailing list. Uh, or we'll let's see if anything super recently came in. Um, having not done this before, we'll just see. Uh, looks like. Yep, we talked about this one already and cube verb VM networking questions. So that's just kind of a support one. So I don't see anything too much. Conventional commit messages, best practices. Oh, this was sent recently, beginning of the month. Daniel proposing, uh, whoops, I, I recall call this. Uh, talking about recommendations or asking for recommendations. Hmm. Anybody have opinions or or if you do, uh, you don't have to speak up here, but please, please reply to Daniel there. All right. Let's do a quick peek at a uh, bug scrub. Looks like a, uh, Andrew called out two issues in his review recently before he uh, departed. And let's take a look at this first one. Failed to clone VM when data volumes type is wait for first customer. Hmm. So I'm active on this one. I think it's a uh, it's real bug, I think. And uh, if I remember correctly, Federico is working on it. Awesome. Or at least we chatted about it. Oh yeah, there we go. Awesome. All right, this one is definitely uh, being attended to. Let's move on to this next one. Vert controller panic when handling request VM operation failed. Ooh. This came in last week. Maybe related to this. Hmm. And let's take a quick peek at this one. Yeah, if it's a dupe, that would be great. Uh, I think if, as long as he's watching this one, then he'll have a potential answer. Uh, but what's the disposition of this one? Merge one commit. This is commented last week. Yeah, this is all very, very recent. Okay. So it looks like this, this one's very potentially being, is, is being addressed and in flight, uh, uh, my assumption that that the linked issue works. And um, Andrew, all right, let's take one more quick peek at uh, anything else that came in recently. We talked about this one. Three days ago, two days ago, four, yeah, we've talked about all the, oh no, we haven't talked about this one, I don't think. This one just came in. Not assigned. Uh, Victor and I we are looking at it. It's just a tracking issue. Oh, okay. Uh, would you be so kind as to jump on yeah. the assignment? Can I also sign to Victor, even if he's the, the one who... Yeah, anyway, I will try to assign either to me or to Victor. Yeah, I, I don't, in my opinion, but again, I'm, I'm just, I'm not a developer on the project. 
uh, I wouldn't see that as a problem because you're just working it and you still have, you know, peer reviewers probably on any of the downstream impacts. So yeah, I, I wouldn't see, personally, I wouldn't see that as a problem. Um, you mean not to assign to, to the one who created the issue or? Yeah, to the one... yeah, yeah. If they're okay, working yeah, it. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll do. Thank you. And that looks like that's bug scrub and, uh, Andrew reviewed flaky text fixes and said there weren't any. So I don't think we saw anything else in the Zoom chat or anybody else introduced themselves. So that could be the end of the meeting for today, unless there are any other final questions, comments, or concerns. All right, I will take that as a no. Thank you, everybody. I hope uh, uh, I was an an efficient moderator. And if uh, if you have any complaints for uh, about me, please take them to Andrew. And thank you all for your time today. We'll sign off. Thank you.